If you've been wandering around Birmingham, sitting Coldfield or High Cross Zoo this summer, you may have noticed giant owl sculptures scattered across the region. And if you didn't follow a 94-mile trail to see them all, well, now is your chance. So today is the big celebration. It's the farewell weekend of the Big Hoot, so we're all a little bit sad that we're saying goodbye to the owls, but it's amazing. We've put this on for the community. The people of Birmingham and even beyond are coming down from all over the Midlands and even Newcastle and so on to say their goodbye to the owls. The Big Hoot took the region by storm this summer with hundreds of thousands of people coming to the streets with their maps to witness the colourful invasion of 89 individually designed owls and 122 owlets. And people have been queuing up all day to say their last farewells to the owls. Now, what are your favourite owls here? What's your favourite design? I've got two. Doctor Who. Doctor Who is Samuel, yeah? Yeah. Harry, which one was yours? Um, the one free radio, wasn't it? Because it talked to you, didn't it? But, but we've got one that's Jack outside the um, War Memorial and mine's Tea Towel because I'm a bit of a tea freak. And they're all here today, so have you taken pictures of them today? We've taken pictures of the ones that I didn't manage to see, but the boys had done nearly the 200, but Nanny didn't quite make that. How are you enjoying your time here today? Oh, it's a very lovely day, yes. There's a lot of, it's bringing the community together and it's a very pleasurable experience through which we're able to look at all of the owls in one large group. Having a great time today. It's great to see them all together yeah. um, rather everyone. than having to go around the city. Everyone's beautiful. So this owl behind you is your favourite. Why is it your favourite? It's my favourite. My daughter's begged to differ, but this is my favourite because I love everything green and this is the green owl. And it's just beautiful. What a clever artist. And girls, what are your favourites? I like the love owl. I like spotting and jotting and burning because it's got lots of other owls on it. And I like, I like owls and I like the ones that's got lots of owls on them. And are you guys having fun today? We are. Yeah. Yes. All profits from the ticket sales of this weekend's event will go to the Birmingham Children's Hospital charity. And if you want to give one of these owls a home, the Big Hoot auction is for you. So after this weekend, it's all about the Big Hoot auction. So on Thursday the 15th of October, we'll be auctioning off all these amazing pieces of art. And um, we hope that people, because they've loved them so much, are going to give them a great home. We'd love to still see them around the city. Um, there are tickets still available for the auction if anyone's interested in bidding for one of these owls. And you can also bid online or put in a telephone bid as well. And um, yeah, we just hope it's a fitting finale to what has been the most amazing project to be involved with. Birmingham welcomed cartoon owls to celebrity owls, to owls that celebrate Birmingham's landmark architecture, history, people, cultural diversity and much more. It's just been the most amazing project. Um, the Big Hoot has captured the imagination of artists, communities, we've obviously seen some great activities, people actually doing from fundraising points of views, from cake baits to sponsored walks and how they've even gone around the trails and discovered um, but you know the businesses really got behind it they made it happen and Birmingham should just be so proud of what we've achieved and from the charity from Birmingham Children's Hospital just a huge thank you for everyone that got involved everyone that's enjoyed it it's meant a huge lot to all our families and all our patients and uh, fingers crossed for the auction that it's the finale we all hope from the Big Hoot merchandising to events, then the auction. Birmingham's Children's Hospital Charity hoped to raise £500,000, which will go towards their new project, the Star Appeal, that will build the UK's first children rare disease centre. This is Monica Plaha in Birmingham for the Midlands.